So what I've got here is a coral, and this is a fossil from somewhere in upstate New York. And today I'm gonna to show you how we can do something called photogrammetry with it. So we're gonna take a bunch of photographs from a lot of different angles and run it through a cool software package that can turn this into a high resolution 3D image that you can take a look at yourself at home. And before we get started, we can look at the coral in a better light and you can see some of the finer details that are preserved in this fossil. And they look a lot like this coral, which is a modern day relative found in Asia. And for comparison, this is a modern day starfish and we can get a look at how the photogrammetry program deals with finer details like this. Here I'm taking a bunch of pictures from a, a lot of different angles. And I'm taking roughly 50 pictures each of the fossil coral and the modern day starfish, being sure to cover it from every single angle and a few different heights. We're going to be using a program called Meshroom, where we'll first import the pictures that I've imported from the iPhone. And here it found 61 usable pictures. And after I start the program, uh, it will go through all of these individual steps that you see below in this little flow chart on the bottom. And after it's been running for a while, on the right hand side, you can check out how the program maps out all the different camera angles as it's going through all the steps to make a 3D image. And when it's completely done, you can go to the place where you saved the file, which it asked you to do at the beginning. And you can see that it's made a directory in there uh, called Meshroom Cache with a subdirectory called texturing. And within that, it makes a string of random numbers. And within that directory is the textured mesh output file. And that's a 3D object, usually with one or more materials associated with it. And you can import this 3D object as a OBJ file. And it should be that the materials will automatically import as well. I'm using a 3D program here called Blender. Let's get rid of this cube here. As I click on the texture view option on the right hand side, it lets you see the materials in good lighting. I flipped the object upside down to get some better lighting here. And you could see that when I animate the object using Blender, it makes some really high resolution movies. And in the description below, I'll show you where you can get these files. I've uploaded them to one of my sites and you could feel free to download and check out these 3D objects as well. And here's one more example of a photogrammetry 3D object output. This is a fossil of Podocosaurus, which is the Massachusetts state dinosaur. You can see how great the details are. This is another practical use of photogrammetry because the original fossil of this particular dinosaur was destroyed in a fire. So aside from casts of casts, we can now share this fossil with each other through 3D files. And if you want to check this out too, I provided a link below. Please be sure to subscribe and like, and thanks for watching.